Maple Leaf Square is in the middle of a celebration bigger than when Toronto Raptors owned the North. Today's episode is brought to you by Locker Room Lager. If you are in the Toronto area and you would like to pick some up in celebration of this wonderful news, you can always find them in the beer store. For those of you who are not in that area, check out the link down in the description below. While you're down there, hit subscribe, hit like. Jake Gardner, eight years with the Toronto Maple Leafs. If you're a Leafs fan, you know him. If you're an NHL fan, you may remember him. After doing this in Game 7 of the 2018 Stanley Cup Playoffs. Debrusque with a step. Debrusque trying to get ready. Score! Jake Gardner managed to outdo Freddie Anderson in being the one person that everybody in Toronto hated. Gardner has signed a four-year contract with Carolina Hurricanes, 4.05 mil a year. Based off of that last clip, I feel like I am worth 4.05 mil a year. Regardless, the Carolina Hurricanes have scooped him up. However, a lot of people are surprised when it comes down to anything with Carolina Hurricanes. The team flies under the radar, and really, despite the fact that they played so well in the playoffs last year, the only thing a lot of people really knew about them was the storm surge, and while I am sure Don Cherry is not looking forward to Jake Garner being a part of a storm surge, he's going to have to buckle up, or he can hang them up. I'll take the job. As far as the Toronto Maple Leafs go, Garner would have expected to be the third line max, if not the fourth. When it comes to the Carolina Hurricanes, that team is stacked with defensemen. It was one of the biggest contributing factors to their success last year, and I don't expect to see Gardner on a line higher than the third there either. Toronto Maple Leafs do not have any money to speak of when it comes down to considering re-signing Gardner, especially considering the contract or lack thereof when it comes to Mitch Marner. The Carolina Hurricanes did lose one of their defensemen. Dahan was picked up by the Chicago Blackhawks, so now they're bringing on Gardner. This acquisition of Gardner and this maintaining of a solid, solid blue line is something that I feel is going to keep up this momentum that the Hurricanes have shown. And everybody knows if defense wins championships. If Gardner can hold it together, I do expect the Carolina Hurricanes to be a playoff team this year. Of course, the Hurricanes did get hit with Justin Williams deciding to take some time away from hockey, AKA he retires. There is another Justin on the Carolina Hurricanes that may not be on the ice either. The fate of Justin Falk is in the air, and I don't think that they're gonna hold on to him, especially now that they have Gardner. So if your name is Justin, unfortunately, you can't sit with the Hurricanes. As far as the Maple Leafs go, Jake Gardner was part of that core group of players that made up the team when they were in the era of being god awful. They've been in the process of a rebuild, all the way back to 2015 when they fired their head coach and got Babcock. That was the same year they got Mitch Marner, step one. Step two, the next year, tank, here's Austin Matthews. This past year, of course, they get John Tavares. So getting rid of Garner is really a huge step in the right direction. Those players are gone, that whole dynamic is gone. And even with the risk of not having Marner, at least for the first bit of the season, I really do think that the Maple Leafs are going to have a solid team if they can get it together in time. That's all I have for you guys today. If you are located in the storm path, I wish everybody safety, stay safe, stay inside, watch YouTube videos. I've got plenty. That being said, if you have not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit like, share it with your friends. Let me know what you think about the acquisition and what it means for the Carolina Hurricanes, as well as the Toronto Maple Leafs. I will see you all in the next one. And until then, seriously, Don Cherry. Hang them up.